I would, uh, I just like to, I will disagree with you on one point there, David, which is that I don't think the end of the story happens tonight, because, before, don't, don't get too excited, it's not what you think, but because, each and every person, not only in this square, but also watching around the world, who will see this film and who have followed these films over the last 10 years, will carry this story with them through the rest of their lives, and it will affect what they do. Um, so I would just like to say a huge thank you um, to all of you, first of all, for giving me a job, um, and Joe for letting him give me a job, and um, it's been the most amazing, inspirational, surreal, bizarre, wonderful ten years that I will probably ever have in all my life, and um, every opportunity I get from now on is all comes back to the fact that I got very, very lucky when I was 11. Um, so, thank you very, very much. Um, Emma? Uh, I'm going to voice what I think everyone in the crowd is already thinking, which is that, Dan, you didn't get lucky. Um, you were... You were and are the perfect Harry and will be forever. Um... Thank you. Oh. I know that's not really my place to say, it's actually Joe's, but um, she, she, chose, she chose Dan too. Um, I want to say thank you to um, David Barron and David Heyman. Um, you've both been like fathers to me. David Yates, you taught me so much more than, you know, I'm so lucky to take everything that you've taught me with me. Um, Steve Clovis, you gave Hermione the voice that, I so hoped she would have, and she would have, and I'm so grateful she's every bit as strong and beautiful and great as she is in the book, and I'm very grateful. Jo, thank you for <laughs> writing these amazing books and for being... <laughs> That's it, I'm gone. <laughs> was such a role model to me in real life. Um, thank you to Rupert for making me laugh and being such a great brother. And thank you to Dan, same thing. I will miss you so much. And thank you to Warner Brothers for making these films the way they should have been made and giving them the support that they needed. And we went out as we should have done on a bang and I'm so proud to have been part of this, so just thank you so, so much. And thank you to everyone here who came. You are the most wonderful fans in the world, and I'm just such a privilege. Thank you so, so much. Oh, oh God. Wow. <laughs> I'm really not very good at, at goodbyes. This is... This is been such a, an emotional week. Um, a year ago when we finished, I, I kind of thought I was kind of coming to terms with it and, and, and able to move on, but um, this really has been such an important part of my life. And um, yeah, I want to thank all of you who have just made this, um, these last 10 years just the, <laughs> the best half of my life. And, um, uh, <laughs> and I'm just so pleased I've shared it with you two because you've... I, I love you. I, I really do. And... Oh, God. And David, I just, don't know, I just don't know what to say. I mean, thank you doesn't seem to be kind of a strong enough word, but um, this, is, this has just been kind of... I mean, I'm never, never, never going to have this again. This is just... We're going to have to make the most of this and, and just enjoy it. And, and thank you to all of you as well, just... <laughs> Amazing, it's just, I'm finding it hard to now string together coherent sentences because it is really emotional. <laughs> I, I really, what you've done for ginger people, um, it's just, I cannot kind of put that into words. So thank you, Joe and David. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything, and it's just been the best part of my life, as I say. Thank you. Oh my God.
know what? I, maybe I'll just write another one. I may be... <laughs> That is a joke, but you have no idea I've never come closer than standing up here tonight. Um, oh God, Emma's finished me. Rupert's now crucified me. <laughs> I love ginger people. This is my favorite ginger person right behind me. <laughs> okay, right. Coherent. So, the first person I need to thank is David Heyman, who persuaded me to trust film people. And we're really here because of him, because it's just incredible to look back and think that I was so wary of the books being filmed, and I would have missed this. So then, I also need to thank David Barron. I'd be surprised if any living human being ever found a bad word to say about David Barron. Just humanly impossible. Steve Clovis, who has been an incomparable collaborator and my dearest friend. I just can't say enough about Steve. Uh, Right, calm down. Oh, our amazing, our amazing directors from the inspirational Chris Columbus who put this family together um, and just set us on the right track. <laughs> to Alfonso and Mike who each brought their own stunning vision to the film. And lastly, and what... What can I say that's enough about David Yates, who's directed the last three and four, four, I knew that. <laughs> three books, four films, that's right. And uh, I, I just know that everyone who watches Deathly Hallows Part Two is going to see that he steered us home magnificently. It's incredible. And... Of the actors, I can only say I could never have dreamt the talent we'd have in these films, but there are seven that in private I refer to as the big seven, and that's Dan, Rupert, Emma, Matt, Ivana, Bonnie, and Tom. And they, they cannot know how much I love them, how, what amazing things they did for my favorite characters, and I just thank them for lending us their talent and all their hard work. And then finally, as everyone else has said, but I need to say it most of all, no story lives unless someone wants to listen. So thank you, all of you. Um, Thank you for queuing for the books all those years. Thank you for camping out in a wet Trafalgar Square. And you know what? Oh no, no, I'm already crying, don't. I know there are people all over the world right now waiting for the cinema, for, in cinemas for the film to start. But Dan has already said it, the stories we love best do live in us forever. So whether you come back by page or by the big screen, Hogwarts will always be there to welcome you home. So we're going to roll the film now. Thank you so much. <laughs>